Hello there and welcome to jeffmobile.com. I'm here in Vancouver, BC, Canada, the beautiful kitchen. This is going to be an, another episode of Microwave Cooking with Jeff Peters. I'm happy to share with you my amazing microwave here. Any microwave will do. You can even buy a microwave for around $50 at a drugstore. Sometimes if you don't have one, you can get one. Microwave is a very interesting cooking tool and the problem with the microwave that is is not always very reliable. Sometimes if you're cooking something, it will not turn out as you expect. So my goal today is to provide you with a very reliable recipe for making a delicious poached egg. Now, if you know poached egg, poached egg is on top of egg, egg muffins sometimes. You can put hollandaise sauce. You can put them on top of toast or on a bagel. They are wonderful and if you make them the way I suggest, the yolk will be a little bit runny, but you can always use, use a longer cooking time if you like your yolk to be more solid. So let's get started. I'll first show you all the ingredients that we're going to be using today. This recipe is going to be for one egg. You can always do this recipe multiple times if you want to do more than one egg. I also have a bowl I can display the egg in and serve it in after. I have a mug and I've got a sharp knife with a point, some spoons, and some paper towels. Of course, we need a microwave. Any microwave will do. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to crack the egg into the mug. And make sure you get all the egg out of the eggshell. You don't want to waste any and leave any behind in the eggshell. So I'm just going to use my finger and take a bit of the egg out. And there it is. And now use the knife to gently pierce the top of the egg yolk. That will help it so it doesn't explode as much. It's really important. Now take four or five tablespoons of cold water and add it into the mug. So that helps the, uh, the egg get the poached kind of texture with the water cooking with it. You don't want to use too much water because then it becomes kind of soupy and just uh, four or five tablespoons should be enough. It doesn't have to be exact. All right, and now that egg is in already, it's gonna take a piece of the paper towel and this is gonna go on top of the mug. It helps uh, reduce the mess if it does explode. And because you're serving it in a mug or cooking, cooking it in a mug, it will have less mess. And we'll pop that in the microwave, make sure it's covered with the paper towel. And depends on your microwave, but I'm gonna try full power at 50 seconds. That's what we recommend. But if you have a really powerful microwave, you may want to try a shorter amount of time, check the egg and then add a few more seconds as you go until you discover how strong your microwave is. Now that's been cooking for almost uh, 50 seconds, the last 10 seconds. And unfortunately, or actually surprisingly, we've got something going to happen here. Look at this. Wow. So that was interesting. And I it looks bad, but there's actually not very much mess because the mug is quite tall and we, and the paper towel prevented a lot of the stuff from escaping. And it's pretty easy to clean up after with the paper towel. The egg looks really good, the nice texture, and uh, it's cooked about right. It, can be, it could be a bit softer or or more, uh, more hard if you like the egg a bit more cooked. I use a really large spoon to remove the egg and then drain out some of the excess water. Put a bit of freshly ground pepper on there and a pinch of salt. And there you pretty much have it. You can serve this on toast or any way you like on top of an egg muffin. It's really yummy. This egg was totally delicious to eat as I'm gonna show you in a second when I try it. Let's cut into it with a knife. You can see that the yolk is still a bit soft and it's just the perfect texture. I actually turned the egg over to give it the, the bottom side. It looks a bit nicer to serve. So yeah, it was really nice. Uh, thanks again for watching this video. Um, really enjoyed eating this egg and showing you the recipe. The recipe is from the uh, the recipe is from Microwave Gourmet, a, a book, uh, an old book from the '80s, and I'll put a link to that book below. Thanks again for watching. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please do give it a try at home. Tell me if you like this recipe. Did you enjoy the eggs? Did they turn out okay? And uh, please leave your comments and suggestions in the comments below. If you like this channel, please feel free to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. Hope to see you again very soon. Have a wonderful day and bye-bye uh, for now.